what is digital image processing let us uh, discuss first what is digital image we represent digital image by f x y and we'll see all these in a bit so it's a two dimensional function digital image is a two dimensional function means two dimensions and this x and y are actually the spatial coordinates means these coordinates any point at so at x direction y direction so this x y are spatial coordinates and the amplitude of f is called the intensity or gray level at that point at this particular point this is the amplitude of f this is the amplitude this is the function this is f is the function two dimensional function of x and y and this f x y is nothing but the intensity or gray level at this particular location or point and digital image processing the process digital images by means of computer it covers low mid and high level processes so there are various uh, processes which we are going to cover and the processing of this uh, image actually uh, digitally is uh, and this processing are various functions uh, various algorithms and making this images uh, uh, usually good to see and to extract some meaningful information out of it so that is why digital image processing is done so what are these low level means the inputs and outputs are images and what uh, mid level means the outputs are attributes which is extracted from uh, input images so uh, what i was talking about the idea or the information that you want these are the information which can be extracted from the input images and high level means an assemble of recognition of individual objects so there are various uh, content which are present and a human being can see can perceive and how the machine can see and if there is a automated procedure or a semi automated procedure then uh, you know human kind will be benefited that is why high level that is recognition of individual objects then pixel this is the element of a digital image and this pixel is nothing but picture element this is picture this is element so the elements of a digital image so these uh, are the origins of digital image processing log back history 1921 this is a digital picture produced uh, in 1921 from a coded tape by a telegraph printer with special type faces so this was sent by submarine cable between london and new york the transportation time was reduced to less than 3 hour from more than a week This uh, is the first picture of the moon by US spacecraft Ranger 2 took this image on July 31 1964 at this time uh, you know about 70 minutes before impacting the lunar surface These are various sources of images major sources means um, you have electromagnetic energy spectrum that we are going to see acoustic ultrasonic electronic synthetic images produced by the computer all these are the sources of images this is electromagnetic spectrum right from your uh, gamma rays to higher wavelength means these are uh, radio waves and these are the frequency you know energy one of one photon electron volts now these uh, major uses of this gamma rays in nuclear medicine astronomical observations x ray medical diagnostic industry and astronomy ultraviolet in lithography industry inspection microscopy lasers and biological imaging and astronomical observations then this uh, visible and infrared band uh, light microscopy astronomy uh, remote sensing very important remote sensing this digital image processing is very much uh, linked and hooked with this remote sensing and also visible and infrared uh, can be used for industry and law enforcement microwave specifically for radar and communication and uh, troposcatter communication for per se and radio waves uh, medicine such as mri and astronomy so these are the example of uh, gamma ray imaging these are the bone scan pt uh, scan then sagnus loop and this is a gamma radiation for a reactor wall right this is x ray imaging x ray imaging that is uh, this is a ch chest x ray then we have this as aortic uh, angiogram and this is uh, 
to see one this is head ct ct scan of a, of the skull head these are the circuit boards these are uh, sinus loops so these are the uh, use of x ray imaging then comes ultraviolet imaging this is you see uh, these are normal cone these are smut cone these are sinus cone then light microscopy imaging these are the examples of light microscopy images this is uh, a uh, taxol that is anti cancer agent uh, this this has been magnified actually these are cholesterols these are microprocessor these are nickel oxide uh, thin film these are surface of audio cd and this is the organic superconductor this is our visual and infrared imaging these are the landsat satellite image of the uh, washington dc area and these are the numbers which refer to the thematic bands that is band number 1 to 7 of landsat so visual and infrared imaging can if we uh, talk about this thematic band in, uh, in landsat satellite these are from 1 to 7 as we show the images and we have this in visible blue that is 0.4 to 0.52 so 0.4 to 0.7 actually they are they are visible range 0.545 to 5.52 these are maximum water penetration is there so uh, all these activities can be measured like visible green and visible red nir mir thermal infrared middle uh, infrared so most of the job can be done just by having the imagery at certain wavelength the infrared satellite imagery see this is uh, usa 1993 how is that changed in 2003 and if you see the image of uh, india uh, and nearby areas in diwali you will see that how it glows in the that particular day these are again infrared satellite imaging and these are automated visual inspection these are some examples of manufactured goods often checked using digital image processing this is a circuit board Um, controller this is packaged uh, this uh, pills these are actually the bottles you can see that uh, this is not filled up and uh, these are air bubbles in a clear plastic product these are serials these are image of uh, intraocular implant so all these can be done uh, let us have some more example uh, this is a thumb print this is a paper currency Uh, this is uh, automated license plate reading you see uh, these are the results of automated reading of the plate content by this system and this area this area in which the imaging system detected the plate so this is how it can be even if it is not very clear the image processing can be helpful for you these are the example of uh, radar images these are the space bound radar image of mountains in southeast tibet this is mri or radio scan of human first this uh, is of knee this is of spine this is ultrasound imaging means uh, cross sectional this uh, particular example is the cross sectional image of seismic model so the arrow this arrow particular points to a hydrocarbon or oil or gas trap this area then uh, this a is a baby Uh, you know finding through ultrasonic uh, imaging we call it uh, ultrasound and this is uh, another way we view of baby these are thyroids and these are muscular layers uh, showing lesions in between so these are the fundamental steps in digital image processing we start with image acquisition then uh, uh, we do image filtering and enhancement so result is more so suitable than the original that is why you do it then you have image restoration to uh, improve the appearance then color image processing or you can go to wavelet multi resolution processing compression and morphological processing that is extracting image components then segmentation so this partitions an image into its constituent parts or objects then we have representation description means uh, representing the image for computer processing and finally uh, this object recognition so this is light and electromagnetic spectrum as we already uh, represented it 
so this is uh, in terms of frequency now this is in terms of wavelength and uh, this is a part uh, you know from from 0.4 to 0.7 uh, we have this as the visible range this is visible light uh, visible range or you get visible imaging so we generally use the c is equal to um, new lambda and e is equal to h new these are the two values these are the two expression or by which various values of frequency and lambda are related so this light and electromagnetic spectrum the colors that humans see or perceive in an object are determined by the nature of the light which is reflected from the object so which ever like uh, like uh, if you say um, an apple it looks red because most of the red red light is been reflected and you are here you see so for example green objects reflect light with a wavelength primarily in this range 500 to 570 range while absorbing most of the energy in other wavelength and we have monochromatic light that is void of color it, uh, intensity is uh, the only attribute in this monochromatic light from that is black to white and monochromatic images are also referred to gray scale images so the gray scale uh, images or gray images these are the monochromatic light you don't have any color and the only thing is the intensity that is um, for our purposes we'll use it uh, to uh, 0 to 255 and these are chromatic uh, light bands from 0.43 to 0.79 so the quality of chromatic light sources can be radiance luminance and brightness what is the radiance this is the total amount of energy luminance is the amount of energy an observer perceives from the light source and the brightness is the subjective descriptor of light perception that is impossible to measure so it embodies the chromatic notion of intensity and one of the key factors in describing color sensation this is how image acquisition is done this is uh, actually a single imaging sensor this is a line sensor and this is a array sensor so everywhere you have uh, imaging uh, devices imaging means ccd you can say or cameras these are for example in this this is a sensing material and uh, this is various parts like voltages housing power in filter this this is the input energy and how it captures the uh, light and this is uh, usually uh, various in various uh, say satellite platform or any aerial photographic platform you will find any of these so this transform illumination energy into digital images this is image acquisition uh, using a single sensor uh, means combining a single sensor with a motion tool generate a 2d image so one line uh, image line out of per increment of rotation and full linear displacement of sensor from left to right so like this then this and this right from one side to another it takes images then again it goes back this is how it is done so this this is image acquisition using a linear sensor strip and this particular is image acquisition using circular sensors uh, sensor strip this is linear this is circular so what is done is this is uh, one image line out per increment of line motion this is the image area this is the linear motion right it scoops it scoops actually cover all of them uh, what is uh, what energy it gets from the ground or any other uh, reflecting material and in this th these are the cross sectional images of the 3d object this is image critical section this is the linear motion and this is the 3d object and this is a sensor ring these are the sensor ring this is image acquisition process so you have a scene element this is the imaging element so illumination comes some reflectance is there this imaging system senses this reflectance and uh, this image plane uh, you know it actually plots this 3d into 2d so a projection is done and after this projection is done the output or digitized image is produced so this was the basic idea